I've seen a lot of improvement, and I think a lot of it was the work that he did over quarantine, uh, just the stuff that nobody really sees. Uh, I saw a lot of improvement just in his mid-range jump shot and his three-point shooting as well. I know we haven't seen much of it yet, uh, but he's improved dramatically in that area. And then also I saw a lot of fight in him today, and that's something that we've seen a lot in practice recently too. Uh, he's just been getting a lot of offensive rebounds. His long arms help a lot with that, so he's going to be a big piece going forward. You know, it's, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever been on a team with this many players, uh, and that's, that's really cool because we get to see a lot of guys a lot of combinations. Um, we just get to see how different guys work. And I think that, you know, learning to play with everybody is something that we're going to have to figure out. And I think we're learning how to do that. Uh, we have a really young team. We have a lot of young guys that, um, you know, haven't necessarily been here as long as, you know, an old man like me. Uh, so trying to teach them just the principles and the pack line and all that is, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of teaching through learning and through just guys that, have to go through that fire, I guess, to learn the lessons that they need to. Jay, speaking of learning lessons, what did you guys take away from the San Francisco upset, and what did you think of the way the team responded today? You know, the San Francisco game, uh, nobody nobody played amazing, and I think that we just learned that we had to, you know, just come more prepared. We had to be more sound, and I think that was a big part of it. We had a lot of turnovers. And we just we just needed to fix a few things. It wasn't like we, you know, we don't know what we need to do. And I think that, you know, obviously it wasn't a great loss. Not that any losses are great losses, but that one specifically was just a, a not great looking game. But I think that's just, you know, learning that again, similar to like you said, like learning that we have to do. And I think we learned that lesson and we're gonna be better for it. Yeah, I mean, I think in some ways that's just, you know, what our offense does sometimes. Uh, some guys get more shots than others depending on how the other team is guarding it. Um, and today they didn't necessarily cover the middle very well when we would drive, and that led to a lot of open layups for guys like me and Justin and Caden. Uh, and I think that, you know, that's just how our offense works. It's, you know, you can't cover everybody in our offense, which is a really great, uh, really great problem to have, honestly, because, you know, some guys are going to have – a game where they score a lot, and then the next game it'll be another guy. Tonight we're going to have Ming Long, Preston Lewis, and Mike Barber. Yeah, Jay, um, your thoughts on Week's uh, performance as a starter? You know, no turnovers in 22 minutes. Obviously, it's kind of what you look for at the point guard position. Yeah, I mean, Reese has really impressed a lot of people, and I think something that, you know, people overlook is his defense. You know, his on-ball defense has been spectacular. Uh, he's also got some long arms to block shots that I don't always expect a guard to block, so I've been impressed with that. But he's, yeah, he's been great, and he's learned very quickly um, what he has to do. And, you know, it's it's been really great to see out of a first year. Because a program like this, this is hard to be a first year. I think he's handled it really well. Jay, speaking of Reese, just how was it Yeah, I mean, it was it was great. I mean, as you could see, especially in the first half, I think our offense was working really well. Um, and the way, you know, everybody was attacking the rim, I think that's one of the great things about our offense is that it doesn't revolve around one guy. Um, it, it just depends on everybody doing their job, and that's something that we stress a lot. It's just, you know, it's not, it's not like we're going to go out and play one-on-one -on -one every time down the floor. That doesn't make any sense to us. There's been a lot of decisions, uh, a lot of conversations being made or being had, and I think that uh, the main thing that everybody within the team understands is that we all support each other, and we support the guys that kneeled. Me personally, I didn't choose to because I just, you know, that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted to stand, but I feel like guys have every right to kneel and that the message that they wanted to get across is one that we all support and we all want to get behind and obviously that message is you know just protesting against injustice and so we're looking you know conversations have been had as well to try to get involved um, 
not just kneeling, but you know, going out and doing something about the issues that we want to see changed in the world. And I think that, you know, obviously people are going to say what they say, but our shirts say unity. We're all unified. Um, and today we changed the lining, like the way we lined up, uh, because we all wanted to support each other and show that in a way that was, um, you know, different than the way we first did it because we've had to you know, arrange each other, ourselves and everything like that. So that's just what we wanted to do. We wanted to support each other. So I caught mono. Uh, I started showing symptoms early October. I had it the whole month of October. And I think when I when it hit, I was about 223 pounds. And I ended up dropping all the way down to 198 pounds. And um, so what's that, like 25 pounds I think I lost. And so now I weigh about 216 pounds, give or take. Give or take. And we're trying to get to the back to my weight in a hopefully by the end of the year, or by the end of the month. Was it frustrating, you know, after you set out last season and just kind of wait your turn to play and get going to have another setback then? Yeah, it was, it was very frustrating for me. Uh, Mono definitely um, had me pretty down, and um, but I knew when I came back I would just have to push even harder to try and earn what I wanted to uh, get. And so that's what I did. I worked with uh, Coach uh, Mike Curtis and uh, – I made sure I eat, ate a lot, got plenty of sleep, and uh, got back to health. And uh, Ethan Sleeve will also helped me a ton with that, too. Yeah, Casey, Jimmy, you mentioned that you've been really aggressive in, in practice and things like that. I was curious, after that illness, how close are you to 100%? Do you feel like you're still your normal self now, or are you still sort of working back? Um, in terms of playing, uh, I feel 100%. Uh, in terms of my stamina, it might be down a little bit still. Uh, you know, I get I get winded a lot faster than I used to, I think, but it will come back in time. Um, I think I'm able to play hard enough for the minutes that I do get before I get a break. So I, I, I'd say I'm almost back to 100% in terms of stamina. But. And what was Coach's message after the San Francisco game? Because I know you guys responded today. So after San Francisco, he just wanted to – we just made sure we were good mentally. Like – I feel like we feel like a lot of that was a mental um, breakdown on our part, uh, breakdown in the second half in terms of playing uh, defense and stuff. And, you know, he, coach just told us that we got to get back to work, keep working. Um, it's not going to be easy, and we just got to keep following our path. And I feel like we responded well to that the last uh, four days. Uh, we worked hard in practice the last two days, and um, we've stayed together as a team, which is really important in a tough loss like that. Um, yeah, I feel like the rotation that we're running right now has helped me a lot in terms of um, my stamina because I'm not going to be out there for extensive periods of time, like eight minutes, ten minutes. Like It's just not going to happen for me. And I feel like that helps a lot for the situation I'm in. But, um, you know, in the scenario where I have to, I, I will be ready to. Um, and it's also amazing how much the media timeouts help, too. Uh, those, are, those are awesome. Um, every four minutes, get a quick blow. So, other than that, the the, the big rotations definitely helped me a lot. Hey, Jay mentioned this a little bit. I wanted to ask you uh, about the national anthem and the kneeling for the players in that first decision-making process. As a team, and also sort of unity, and what that word means to you, just like something that the jerseys, the warm-ups, the uniforms, all that stuff. Like, we had a discussion on Thursday, I think, about if we wanted to kneel for the national anthem or not. A lot of us have really strong beliefs about the uh, situation in the country right now um, with the police brutality and all that. And also, along with that, the history of the um, national anthem lyrics itself, because there's more to it than just the first, uh, the little part that we hear. And it has a pretty uh, rough background to it if you uh, go and research it. But. Um, you know, the guys that the guys that stand, they're with us 100%. And the guys that kneel, we're with the guys that stand 100%. There's no, we're all very unified in um, what we do. And um, we all support each other. You know, it's just um, some of us have beliefs that others 
may not, if they want to show respect to the military, then that's fine with us. Like, we support them 100%. So we're very unified in that matter. But. I think Reese is doing a great job. Um, you know, it's a, playing with him in practice. Uh, I was on his team for most of the year so far this year in, in terms of practice squad, and I love playing with him. So much fun to play with. Um, he can see the whole court. Uh, you saw today he threw the full court pass that I think Justin, just a really good player. I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm excited to play with him the next few years. It's going to be a lot of fun.